morning so I'm just having my oxy shred this morning and I wanted to say guys welcome back to the channel I'm so excited because in today's video I'm gonna go over all things progress the weight loss that I've done over the last month and a bit yeah I think it'll be really amazing just to share the progress that I've been making and hopefully be able to give you guys some tips and advice or any sort of motivation that you want moving forward into the new year just because the last about six weeks I've been on a diet and it's been going so so well so I'm really really excited about that and I'm also really excited because we have a sponsor for today's video which you guys will already know so if you've watched my videos before guys, you know I would have mentioned Ana Luisa in the past and they have been kind enough to give me a special link for you guys, which is down in the description. They always do the most amazing sales, especially around the holidays and it is coming up to Christmas. So yeah, they have given me a special link, which I'll leave down below, but I am so obsessed with these pieces that I picked up both for myself and some friends. And the reason I love Ana Luisa guys is because the company is sustainable. Everything is ethically sourced, like all the jewelry, it's fair trade, they offset everything so it's like carbon neutral. Everything is like in these beautiful like reusable packages. I love how jewelry can just like bring out what's already in us and bring out our confidence. And then also it's such a thoughtful gift to give to other people. It can be so like personal when you pick out pieces. So I actually got this little one and it's a lion for Leo from the Zodiac collection and this is because I'm a Leo moon and a Leo rising so I picked those off so yeah I wanted to share that offer with you guys and also wish you guys a Merry Christmas because the holidays are coming up and that's really really exciting I know Christmas can be a little bit of a hard time especially when it comes to you know making progress or if you're trying to like adhere to a goal or a weight loss like for me and my bodybuilding it's like Christmas can be quite a challenging time because you know there's a lot of food around and you know it, it can be hard because you want to treat yourself and enjoy yourself which you should but then equally you also have goals so it's finding the balance in that and yeah I, I can completely empathize with that and maybe I can share a little bit more advice around that in this video because I do want to talk about my weight loss and everything first and the progress I've been making. The really, really small changes that I've made have made such a big difference. So I want to share them with you guys, just like little daily things that you can implement that can actually really shift you from one place to the other. And then I'll also talk about in this video some big shifts that have been happening in my life. So before we get started with that, guys, I have a date. I've got a date with my bike. <laughs> So I have to do my cardio now on my bike. I'm gonna do an hour. It is um, coming up to 7 a.m. now. So yeah, I've got an hour's cardio to do and then I'm gonna have my breakfast and I have work a little bit later. Then I'll just share all the infos with you guys and we'll have a really beautiful day. Let's have an amazing day together, okay? Even for the next 20 minutes. I hope your day just gets that much better. <laughs> Does anyone else do this when they're alone in their kitchen and they just like envision the scene from Matilda and they're making things and they're like da -da 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 -da. Please tell me someone gets the reference. Anyways, I'm gonna make a drink and then let's chat. Okay then guys, I'm just gonna sit here because I don't know, it's pretty chill it's sitting on the floor, lighting is nice, it's the morning. By the way, if you want to know how to make this, I made it in my last video. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about guys is actually my progress that I've been making um, because I know in a couple of videos ago I mentioned that I had this sort of like drop in, this like my intuition was like, I think you should start prep, like I feel like it's a really good time. I was just like listening to what like my soul calling was I guess and it was very much to like embark on a, a new sort of adventure within myself and you know just the endless possibilities that come with prep in terms of like traveling to shows and prepping for a show and just also the internal growth that comes through doing any sort of thing consistently for a long period of time that you set out to do like a long-term goal and this just isn't fitness this is anything like this could be like building a house or or I don't know, going on an adventure and just having a long-term goal to get there. It's just like, 
there's a huge process that goes through it and it's not always just the physical transformation that happens on prep it's just like the mental up leveling like discovering your inner strength who's important to you what's important to you you learn so much about your body about yourself about your mindset and so like I feel like people just see prep as this thing that's like a stage whereas for me it's just I always up level my life so much every single time I do a bodybuilding prep and I compete like I feel like I change as a person and that's one of the motivations that keeps me driving and keeps me moving forward in this sport and this career I suppose because not everyone gets it and that's okay but it's really important for me to share with you guys my why as to why I do this it's not just about losing weight or anything like that like there's such a deep deep desire just to be a better human and you can do this in so many different ways and for me it's just very much through the fitness space because that's what I feel is like a really big purpose of mine in life. Obviously, I work as a full-time personal trainer. I'm an online coach. By the way, I am taking on new clients for the new year. So yeah, there's actually a link to my coaching as well in the description. But yeah, for me, like I live and breathe fitness. So it only makes sense that like I want to up level and better my life within that space as well. And yeah, it's just a big part of my life, which is why I wanted to, you know, document it and really share more about it this year because last time I prepped I didn't because you, you need to watch the videos but I didn't really know I was prepping it was a long story so doo -doo 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 -doo, drum roll I have lost almost 4 kg so it's like 3.6 kg or 3.7 kg now which is really epic because I haven't really made that many huge drastic changes to my life like my cardio is still the same so I was eating around 1800 calories and I was just sort of maintaining on that weight I wasn't gaining weight but I wasn't losing weight and then we kept my cardio the same I always just do an hour's cardio because for me that feels really good and I don't also do any steps in Bali like maybe like 2000 so I've always done the hour's cardio and so then what we did was just reduce my calories about 300 and this is very typical with what I'll do with clients we sort of reduce their calories down slowly and maybe implement some cardio but for me we think it was about 250 calories almost 300 that we dropped and then my weight started dropping so that's been really amazing just to do nothing other than just like create more of a consistent diet so I'm not guesstimating so much and being a bit more consistent and then yeah just reduce my calories down slightly and I actually only reduce them down the first week I didn't reduce them at all I was eating like 17 1800 but I just cleaned up my diet so I stopped eating out as much and then maybe three weeks in we reduced it down to like 1600 and yeah now we're about like 1500 and it's amazing like I don't track my macros I just you know follow a plan but it's around that mark and I feel really good like I'm not hungry at all which I think is like a great thing but I had a client say to me yesterday oh I'm feeling a bit hungry does this mean I should increase my food and it's not necessarily when you're dieting that as soon as you feel hunger you can increase your food like there's a lot of different things you can look at like when are you feeling most hungry how big are your meals like could you be choosing better food just loads of different things but like I'm not feeling hungry at all all I've done is reduce my calories a tiny bit and just made everything more consistent and yeah I'm making huge progress which is amazing so I'll keep on doing like the diet updates and stuff with you guys and the cardio updates but right now it's just an hour's cardio in the morning and then I'm eating around like the 1500 calorie mark and if I my weight just continues to move that's amazing because I can always increase my cardio or my steps if I needed to and then if I hit like a plateau so say my weight stopped dropping I have so much room for growth like I'm hardly doing any steps at the minute my cardio is an hour and so yeah it means that I feel like I'm in a really 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 great place because I took a whole year off and if anyone thinks like 1500 calories is low it's not low at all I feel actually like it's a lot of calories for a prep because you know sometimes you have to do like 1200 um, even like 1000 yeah 300 200 100 and yeah I I'm eating a lot I feel really good and I'm only like five foot two as well so for me my maintenance is around 1700 1800 so then you want to create a little bit of a deficit so that's where I am at I hope you guys like these updates as well I guess for the takeaway for you guys it in like okay how do I apply this to my own life it would be okay 
First of all, can you make things a little bit more consistent? Okay, that would be my top tip if you do want to start making progress is to start making things a little bit more consistent and stop like eating here, there, everywhere. Just try and make your routine and your daily routine a little bit more consistent. Um, and this doesn't have to be restrictive, like this can be super enjoyable, but that would be my top tip is consistency. And then try just maybe reducing your calories down 100, 200 and see if, if that makes a, if that just sort of makes your body just say, oh, okay. And then you might start seeing your weight start dropping. But I would always recommend like a 300 calorie deficit to start um, because up to 500 can be quite aggressive. So if you do like say a 200 or 300 calorie deficit, every single day I really feel intuitively that you'll you'll make some progress as well if you're you know eating consistently you're choosing nutritious food and then you're also active as well so doing some form of cardio or steps and then obviously your training so they will be my big tips and that's just what I'm doing right now so I wanted to share that with you I also have a highlight on my Instagram if you do want to like follow my progress a little bit more my Instagram is Jade Jocelyn and yeah, there's a little transform highlight on there where I've just been showing my weekly check-ins because I think it's really fun to be able to look back and like see and even myself sometimes like I need the motivation and be like, okay, this is why we're doing it. This is what we've done. This is the progress that we've made. That is my ramble for the day. I am now going to head to work. It is 9 a.m. I have class at 9.30 and I was very fortunate because I was meant to have three clients today and all of them for whatever reason can't come. So it meant I sort of have the day to myself a little bit. So I'm gonna go teach and then I'm going to train afterwards. And then I'm gonna come back from the gym and then I have a breath work as well. So I'm gonna come back, eat, make a shake kind of vibe and then yeah go to breath work do a breath work session for two hours and then my friend is coming over for dinner so yeah it's a pretty chill day um but i just wanted to bring you guys along with along with it and give you an update so we're gonna head to the gym now mm. so i've just done a little grocery shop and i picked up like gluten-free cereal this is all you can get in bali if you're gluten-free and it's so expensive but you know we just do what we can I got some almonds, some almond milk, and then these little cashew nuts also for my fats. And then also some dark chocolate for some healthy fats as well. So yes, that is my little grocery shop that I just got. The reason I didn't actually get a lot is because tomorrow I'm actually gonna start a meal prep company. I'm gonna try it out anyways. I just wanna see what it's like. And obviously being on prep, it's really good to have consistent meals. And it's what I did last year, but I'm gonna be trying a different meal prep company out over here and seeing what that's like. I've just sort of sent them my diet plan that my coach has sent me, and then they're just gonna make it for me. Just because I'm like a solo person and I don't necessarily like, love just cooking for myself every day as much as I love cooking sometimes it can be a bit like I don't know I'm just cooking the same thing every day for myself and it's not as exciting as like cooking with someone else or for someone else so I'm going to try that so this is just like the little staples that sort of go around side that so like the healthy fats and the carbs and then the meals from them will be just pretty much protein and veg well, there's a big storm coming. But yeah, like I said, I just got back from the gym and I stopped off at the store. First and foremost, I'm gonna eat some post-workout. I'm gonna make a shake and have some cereal. Also, does anyone else look like a big shiny mess after the gym or is that just me? But yeah, really good workout. It was leg day. In Bali, you literally have to keep your cereal in the fridge or ants will attack it. I can do it all in your way. Say all the things that you say. I can do it all. I'm making dinner for a friend. What we have is barramundi fillets in the air fryer. And I'm also going to make ooh, zucchini noodles. And I bought this spiralizer off like the Indonesian eBay. And I'm gonna make zucchini noodles for her. And we're gonna have like a super healthy dinner because she said she's been eating loads. And I'm obviously on my bodybuilding prep which is perfect. I did offer her pasta, but she's happy with zucchini noodles, which is a really great alternative. So I'm gonna make these for her, and um, yeah, we're gonna have like a little girly evening in. I think it'll be super cute. 
Welcome to my home. I'm sorry they took so long. I'm so cute. <laughs> this is what happens when you turn your table into an altar. It's Hi. <laughs> I mean, this is so much for I love that. I prefer that. It's like garlic parmesan. -y. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jane made me dinner tonight <laughs> from her beautiful floor. floor. <laughs> Guys, we are two days in the future now and I completely forgot to close off my vlog just because my friend was over. Um, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope you liked today's video. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you like these sort of like progress videos and if you wanna see more. And also don't forget to check out the link down in the description to check out Ana Luisa if you wanna pick up anything beautiful. But I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I love you all so, so much and I will see you guys next week. Bye.